because you didn't see the last house very much or the last apartment but this is my new place i have as i said in previous videos moved but i have started writing uh my second novel i guess um by hand um i think i mentioned in a previous video that i was going to write my novel by hand um but it sucks and it was kind of a weird choice for my writing goals for the end of the year. But here we are. I want to do Parktober next month. I'm going to do Parktober next month, I should say. But I had a different project than the one that I've started handwriting in mind for Parktober. And I'm still going to plot and outline and world build that novel next month and write that novel for NaNoWriMo because it is going to be shorter than the novel I'm starting to handwrite and I feel like NaNoWriMo, and, and at least like in my mind, and I think this is just like a, a me thing, is better for shorter projects because the goal is to write like 50,000 words or whatever, 50, 60,000 words or whatever. I've never done NaNoWriMo. Um, before, somehow. Uh, but anyway, I know the point is to write 50, 60,000 words in a month. And since the mystery fantasy novel I want to write, I think it's going to be anywhere between like 80 and 90,000 words because it is fantasy, but it's also a mystery. So it has to strike that balance of being like short enough to be a good mystery, but long enough to be a fantasy with world building and magic. So to strike that balance, I'm trying to hit between 80 and 90,000 words. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, the novel I'm handwriting is going to hit 100,000 words. Probably longer. I think it's probably gonna hit like 120 to 150, just because it's adult fantasy, it's high fantasy, like I just, I just know it's going to be longer, hence why I don't want it to be my debut. Which is why if I end up having to shelf the book I'm querying, which I don't want to do, but if you watched my last video, you'll understand where I'm at in the querying rejection mindset. The novel I'm hearing will not be the one I query next, because it's I think too long to be published as a debut, uh, uh, but it's, I want to write it and maybe I can get it short enough to be a debut, who knows, we'll see, um, but I don't know why I'm handwriting it because I did want to finish the first draft of it before Preptober, I don't know what I was thinking, I started outlining it in August so I really thought like I would finish like a hundred thousand word novel in a month even if I was typing it that was never going to happen uh, I don't know like what got into my brain when I started planning that out but it is not happening because originally I thought oh like maybe if I start just typing instead of handwriting it I'll finish and then I like really thought about it and laid out like how long I thought it was gonna be and I was like, no, I'm crazy. It's never gonna happen either way. So might as well stick to the experiment of handwriting it and hopefully producing a clean first slash second draft. And um, just seeing where this takes me because honestly, like handwriting sucked at first as far as like hand cramping goes, but like your hand gets used to it. So that part's fine. So, Right now, I am working on writing both that story by hand and doing something I would usually advise not to be done. And that is I am fast drafting the sequel to the novel I'm querying. <sighs> Which is like such a like do not do kind of thing. But I've heard so many horror stories of writers who still have a full-time job getting really burnt out on their second novel with their deadline. 
and I know that if when I publish my first novel the publisher wants the sequel I will be happy I fast drafted a first draft so because for me it's a really easy jumping point whenever I'm feeling low on creative juices or spent or I need something to start writing so I can work on other projects that take I think like more creative energy I just write you know 500 to a thousand words in the sequel and then move on I'm typically not a multi project writer and by that I mean my first novel I wrote just that and then moved on but um now I have too many things that I want to write now that I've query I'm working on querying my first work I'm like oh I want to write the sequel to that because I'm passionate about that but I have this great idea for a high fantasy standalone and a great idea for the beginning of like a possible fantasy mystery series I want to work on those too so I'm just doing it all and I also have to work on my query because I've hit a threshold of rejections in which I think I need to work on my query because I've gotten enough form rejections on my query. So we're doing that today too. So that's what we're doing. <sighs> I'm waiting for Ray to finish cooking dinner um, because I just got out of work. It's Wednesday. And um, I'm going to write until dinner's ready and then I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to write some more uh, because my internet's out and you know that's thrilling a thrilling part of the move so i might as well take advantage of the internet being out by writing right okay hello dinner is ready uh it is 7 30 and so it's been about half an hour since I started writing, like, somewhere in there. I've only really managed to write, like, as you can see, 557 words because I wrote, like, this note to myself and what chapter I was on. Um, because it's, I was halfway through chapter 3 in Google Drive and I had to write more, um, before my internet cut down. So, only 500 and 57 words which is about on par for what I usually write in half an hour sometimes I can get like if I'm like really on a roll like when I was at my peak when I was fast drafting the novel I'm querying I could write like eight or nine hundred words in a half an hour sprint by the end of the drafting because I had gotten so into the rhythm of writing um but I haven't been like first draft writing in almost two years now uh because i spent you know a lot of time writing or editing the novel <laughs> so it's a little bit rusty but whatever 550 words in like roughly half an hour is not terrible but it is time for dinner so i'm gonna eat and then probably switch to the novel I'm handwriting and be done with the sequel where I'll work on my query. I don't know yet. We'll see how I feel after dinner. Continue working on this 
handwritten. So yeah, we're gonna write some more. And then I am probably gonna read. I was going to edit an author two video tonight. I think it's gonna get done tomorrow because it's getting late and I don't edit well late at night. I miss a lot of mistakes and I get kind of lazy. So it's one thing to be lazy in a first draft or miss things or not be at my best. I have another to be not in my best mindset when I'm editing a YouTube video, you know? So. Okay, so I've got a character and you're never going to be able to read this. It's never going to focus, is it? I have a character named Miho, and every time I write it, I think of the word Miho, like the word Miho in Spanish, even though it's spelled differently, it's spelled M-I-H-O, and I feel like I need to change it. I don't know. Leave your thoughts about the name Miho for someone of Asian descent in the comments. Okay, so I have now finished the rest of this page, right, whatever, and then another page in like a half, but my hand is cramping and it is it is now 9:45 and I tend to go to bed between like 10 10:30 um, because I get up pretty early between 5 and 7:30 in the morning to try and get some writing in before I go to work at 10 and I'm also very slow paced in the morning because I'm not a morning person but you gotta find time to write around a 9 to 5 or for me a 10 to 6 when you can so because my hand is cramping and I've gotten how many pages of handwriting Three pages of handwriting in, as well as 500 words in the sequel done, which is quite productive for me for a night because I get home at like 6.37 and I go to bed about an hour later, or I go to bed like three hours later and I like to read um, and I'm trying to get in as many murder mysteries as I can right now. So I'm gonna read a chapter of One for the Money because I finished Skyward in two days yesterday because uh, I couldn't help myself and read a chapter of Little Women because this book, I enjoy it, but I can't just like binge read the whole thing because the chapters are episodic in nature so it's really easy to pick one up and then stop and because in Preptober and in I'm writing a mystery I'm trying to read more murder mystery so I'm reading Janet uh, Ivanovich one for the money so we're gonna read two chapters and then go to bed so <sighs> thank you for spending time with me um, and This is what my life looks like. This is what it looks like to have a job and um, write in your free time for no money. <laughs>